right guys so i am on the back side of our property right now getting ready to finish up some fence as you can see i got some posts running straight down and what i'm going to do is i'm going to tie a string off to this and then i'll go down and i'll level off all of my t posts so everything's nice and level um it's about 42 degrees a little cold <laughs> for me anyway um I got to put in these supports for the fence so when I draw the fence with a pickup truck I'll show you how I do that I've got a pulley that I built for that uh, we're gonna pull that taunt um, right here where you see that fence post right there right here is gonna be a gate so I'm gonna put a 12 foot gate in here that's got a panel um, that separates this over here is our back side of our property that's the side is all natural I don't want to change it any so right here is where we're running this all the way down and then we'll head south or actually be west we'll head west and then we'll go over now I have I'll take you guys and show you I'm gonna put a trail cam up here and then I'll get some pictures and I'll show you but we have had a lot of deer and I'll show you those pictures here at the end and I have a huge fox. I mean, this fox is enormous. So great hunting aspect here with all this coverage and these trees down and the, the high bush. I've been getting a lot of traffic going through here. Um, but all I'm gonna do is put a trail cam, a hook trail cam up there and shoot that out. I also have to put the no hunting signs out. So we'll probably go for a walk down through there. And so you can see the no hunting signs and all that. But I gotta get to work. Um, I gotta stretch that line, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. The more hits on the like button that we can get would be great because that it's the algorithm to push our video out there more so more people get to see us and know who we are. And as both most of you know, uh, me and Miss Amy came down here. Uh, we had no experience at all in farming, none at all. <laughs> and we left the city. I was a chef for 30 years. Um, we come down here hoping to, uh, make a go of this. And so far, three years later, we're still here and I'm loving every minute of it. So this may seem like hard work to you and fence work is not my favorite, but I love to do it. So I'm going to get to work now.
all right guys so i don't know if you remember uh we had a video not too far back where we finally got power run out to our homestead and uh i had started the first fence line over here and got that one done and then i was going to start doing the front and i decided not to but i had some posts left there and i had a roll of fence this roll of fence particular right here this is the roll of fence and uh come to find out i didn't notice it before because the grass kind of grew up around it but somebody one of the power trucks or somebody had run over it and put a pretty big indentation in the bottom and messed up so this back fence line that i'm doing right here is strictly just for the house and the garden area it's not really for our our sheep or our pigs or cows whatever we decide to get out here this is strictly just to seal off the homestead. The only reason why I want to seal off the homestead is so in case something does get loose, they won't be able to get out of the particular area that the homestead's on. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I've stapled this in for the time being, and I'm gonna stretch this fence line all the way down to the very end. I don't know how much fence I got, but that's what I got to work with today, so I'm gonna to try to get this done. Um, let me tell you, you know, fencing is not cheap i think that is the i think that's the one of the most expensive things that building your house is putting a fence because i mean you know you get the wood posts those cost you money uh, you get the fence those cost you money and you got to get your uh your fence bikes now i put one on top of each one of these each wooden one so if something was to happen to the fence and i was out here and i didn't have a certain tool with me or i didn't have my fence post kit i keep a fence post i got a tote and that's where I keep all my fencing stuff. So when I go in, I have to do fencing. I just grab the tote and I know everything's in it right away. I always make sure there's a hammer, there's cutters, there's poolers. Um, I make sure there's extra wire. Uh, the only thing I'm not going to be able to do the, to these today is put the tensioning wire on them because I don't have any more left. Um, I'm going to look. I think I might have a tiny bit left, but I'm not really sure. But that's be the only thing that I'm going to have to go and I'm going to end up having to buy. Um... But yeah, today is just more so, let's get this fence line run so I can figure out my 16 foot, put my next post in, and then we know that our gate's going to go here. So let me go and keep walking this down there. It's kind of a pain when it's bent and deformed because it catches all the time, but we'll do our best with what we have.
Fucker. Get in your fucking hole. I always have a problem with that first one. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just get it taut enough to where I can take it down there and then I can pull it tight. That'll kind of hold it from flopping all over the place and playing games. Now this has got to be pulled out and this will be tension with the brace in between the two. So it'll, this part will straighten out on its own. This part's the part that I want to get some good tension on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the truck down there I'm going to go ahead and get that hooked up, and then we'll pull the tension and hopefully get all this loose stuff out of here. Alright, so I hooked this up. I think I'm most of it all stretched out. It's looking good. I'm happy with it. Like I said, it's for the back. It's not for the pasture. The pasture is going to be completely different. 
different fence, different everything. How many of you people doing fence hate when this is all tangled up? <laughs> Rains are moving in, guys. Gotta hurry up and get this done. This ain't gonna be a lot of fun. Oh.
Now I'm kind of in a rush because I got rain coming and some major storms. I had to get this done and get the house buttoned up. It's going to be another one of those three day rain deals. So at that point guys, I had to get some chores done. Thanks for stopping by and watching. God bless you all. By the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And until then, be safe. God bless.